Hello, my name is Anthony. I'm the director of Young Hearts, uh, my first feature film, um, who is about a boy who is falling completely in love with his new neighbor. It's a movie about following your heart, open up and just um, yeah, tell that love is a universal thing and um, if you follow your heart, you, uh, you get as happy as, uh, as can be. Hi, welcome to the Teddy TV. My name is Jean Bourbobek, and this time we are talking about the film Young Hearts. Hi, welcome to the Teddy. Welcome Thank to you. the Berlinale. Um, maybe let's just start. What was your inspiration behind the film? Um, initially, I really wanted to make the movie that um, I needed or wanted to see when I was mm -hmm. young, because when I was a kid. Um, I was struggling with like my identity, my sexuality, like a lot of us, I think. And I had a lot of questions and I couldn't really find um, answers in culture, in books, in films, also not at my family or at school. So um, it was really my goal to make a movie that, was, that is watchable for all audiences. So even an eight-year-old who has maybe questions about himself or uh, can watch this movie. So, there are a lot of coming of age movies and a lot of coming out movies, um, but um, I really wanted to focus on just the romantic story. So it's mm -hmm. like a story for everyone. Yeah, that was my uh, that was my intention. And of course, I went back to my own youth and um, I went looking or of like my family and how I grew up. So um, I just made a story that. Um, that I lived and um, yeah. yeah, based on my family and my experiences in life. And I um, made these scenes the way that I wanted them to have, uh, to have been. So that's where, that's where the, the movie comes from. Yeah, that's very interesting that you are then kind of trying to feel like a past gap mm -hmm. in your own yeah. relationship with, mm -hmm. with cinema. Yeah, because like I really wanted to have like a happy movie, mm. a movie where everyone is loving and where everyone around uh, my character Elias is just very warm. And of course, it didn't happen in reality. And some people ask me sometimes, is it that easy to come out mm. in Belgium? Of course not. I think everyone has their own stories. But I think everyone has the same intern struggle. I mean, like it doesn't matter, I think, if you're gay or if you just feel maybe a bit the outsider in either mm -hmm. kind of way. I think everyone had these questions growing up and mm -hmm. I see talking, I, I, really, I always thought I was alone and I was the only one who felt alone. But then talking to my parents and even my grandparents, my grandmother is now uh, 97 and oh, wow. I was talking about her that I felt alone when I was young. And she was like, I had the same, she said. I was like, huh? You're, mm. <laughs> you just had a normal, happy life with your husband and your kids. And she told me that she always wanted to sing. She was, uh, oh, she, her dream was to be a singer, but yeah. she couldn't say this at home because her family was really the working class. And mm. so she said she never dared to, to, to tell anyone that she wanted to become an opera, opera singer. She became yeah. one when she was 35. So only after... Okay, um, but that's also very yeah. unusual. Yeah. And I was like, she had the same feeling that I wanted to make a movie about. So yeah. my movie is not about just being gay. It's really about finding your identity and your, mm. your role in life. And like, yeah, we all struggle with um, becoming an adult. And especially I struggled with becoming the man that my father wanted me to be. And this yeah. is all in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk a bit about these two young characters at the, at the heart of the film, mm. who they are and and how do they meet? Um, so um, the movie starts with Elias. He's um, Elias, we say, and um, he's a 13-year-old boy, and he has, he's having his normal life. He has a lot of friends. He has a little girlfriend as well. Mm. Um, but everything is very innocent and stuff. 
Um, and he grows up in a family where the father is a, is a famous singer. I mean, the career starts, so all the attention goes to the, to the father's career. He has a big brother who has a very hot new girlfriend, and everyone is mm. very excited about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he feels a bit that maybe something is different. And then when um, his new neighbor arrives, um, Alexander, he's from Brussels, the big city. So he's totally different than him. He's actually everything that he wants to be. He doesn't know this yet. And when they have a conversation about love, um, one of the first days of school, they have a conversation about, um, about love. And uh, Alexander asks him, have you ever been in love? And he says, no. But then he's like, but you're together with a girl. Mm. How come you're together then? And he's like, I don't know. He never thought of this. Yeah. And then Alexander tell him, tells him that he's been in love with a boy once. So suddenly there's like a boy next to him who's telling him that it's OK to fall in love with a boy as well. So mm. suddenly something changes, and they become the best friends, and they become madly in love and uh, we follow them around this journey and um, yeah this roller coaster of new emotions and yeah. fear and um, yeah that's that's about it right how did you find your actors for these roles um, so we did an open casting between the age of 11 and 18 years old because yeah. when i was writing i was not sure which age i wanted mm -hmm. them to be um, because i think everyone has their own um, time when they become mature and sexual yeah. as well and I really want the movie just to be cute and fun and um, just childish as well innocent mm. so um, I really saw um, quite soon that like people from 15 16 were too mature already and um, then people from 11 were too childish so I, so I really yeah. then um, saw when when I met um, Alexander uh, uh, Marius is playing Alexander he was there one one of the first castings. We saw 1,500 boys in total. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, it was a um, very uh, heavy schedule. Yeah. I did it together with uh, Oliver Rules. He's my, one of my best friends. He's also a child a psychologist and therapist from uh, okay. career because we really needed to um, also see if these boys were able to talk, uh, to talk about uh, homosexuality and to, mm. to be okay with um, playing a gay character even though they were not really thinking about this when, when I met them, or they never had mm -hmm. like, um, they never experienced love yet. Um, and then when I found Alexander uh, Marius, I just had to find mm, the right match. So, um, but then luckily, um, one of the few days later, uh, Lou walk, walked in and we saw them having this chemistry very soon. So it was quite, um, yeah, quite, normal for me that uh, those two boys were going to play. Elias is really the pre representation of Lou in real life. Lou is also from a very small village like yeah. me. Lou is also a bit like, like me, I think. And um, Marius, who plays Alexander, he's from the big city. He's actually like the character in the movie as well. So um, yeah, it was a long process and it was quite like, I was really like very concerned because it's quite important to find the right match. And but we, we're, we're so lucky. These two boys are gold and it's amazing. Yeah. And how was it working with them? Because I, I would assume that, you know, when you work with such young people, mm -hmm. um, that requires certain special attention. And you mentioned that you, mm -hmm. that you worked with a yeah. child psychologist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, just a little bit about, about Well, um, we never rehearsed with like written dialogues or something. Um, I was also not planning to let them read the script. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we just talked about what the story will be and how it was based at uh, my own youth, on my own youth. Yeah. And um, we really worked on emotions. So um, one of the first uh, sessions, first we went bowling a lot and we went uh -huh. to see movies a lot just to get to know each other. Um, the good thing is that they became best friends immediately. So they hang out nice. also together without me and without Oliver. So that was really good because I really saw them um, becoming themselves as well. Mm -hmm. And then when we, um, we really worked on emotions because I think even though like Lou who plays Elias um, is not um, gay, he says. Um, so I mean, he's quite sure of this. Yeah. He does know the same emotions that I know. It's like he's like, we talked about um, fear, we talked about anger, we talked about sadness, we talked mm -hmm. about love. 
So um, all these emotions we just threw on the table. Me, I did it, Mari did it, Oliver did it, Elias did it. So um, one of the first minutes we did this, um, and Lou started crying because he was like, yeah, we talked about what are you afraid of? And he mm -hmm. had such a wonderful story. And um, yeah, he really understood like emotions really well. So it was really good to like, um, we trusted each other because we saw these emotions so soon in the process that they were not afraid to show their emotions on set. So it was really nice to yeah, just try a lot of things during the scenes. And yeah, I was so lucky because even the grown-up actors who are so professional and they yeah. did so many things, they, their mouth fell open when, when, when my boy started acting. So it was really, mm. really cool to, to see. It was a lot about trust and a lot about, like we talked a lot about what I experienced in life. And yeah, so that was um, amazing. Yeah. And how did you approach the film visually? What, what, was, your, what was your concept for that? So the story is um, quite based on my own youth. I, I grew up in a very small village with a very nice, uh, beautiful school mm. and a lot of nature. And I biked to school um, yeah, with, through the fields of uh, Wetteren, it's called, the small town. And um, we went searching for locations for six months, the whole, a team that mm. uh, I asked that I also re know really well. And so all the houses and the schools and the farm and the farms I saw, I never really felt it. And there were, there was, everyone was like, hey, it's so beautiful. How come you don't feel yeah. it? And then they told me, can you show us what you wrote it on? Which locations have, do you have in mind? And I was like, yeah, I can't show it because it's my own street. And it's mm -hmm. the farm of my, my, like someone I, really, I know really well. And it's the school I know. And, and then we went to all these locations and everyone was like, yeah, we need to do this here. This, your heart is, is like, we feel, every, we feel so much love in these locations. But I thought it's maybe too easy to do it here. And like, yeah, but it's, I'm really happy we did this because mm. I walked to sets in my own street um, where I grew up. I stayed um, like six months at my mom's place, so it was like, there was like it was like a throwback to my yeah, 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 to absolutely. my youth in a, in a modern way or something. So that was really cool. And then um, I really wanted this bubbly energy because these kids were so nice to be with, and they had so much energy. So we just followed them with the camera, and I really wanted um, the, to have the the full option of like showing everything. So. Uh, I didn't want to have a lot of lights in the in the room, and so these kids would just be free to do what they want, and that's also something you you see. And I also really wanted to have like a very colorful movie, yeah. a very hot summer movie as well. But it was the worst summer ever <laughs> last oh, year. Oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, but um, so whenever there was sun, we went outside, and so I had a really good team because it's not easy to just say, "Yeah, the sun's there, let's go yeah, out." Yeah, yeah. No, so it was really yeah. I, this this visual style I had was um, was really something we we pulled through in all decorations and in the kitchen you see like some lemons on the mm -hmm. and, on the wallpaper. Yeah, I just wanted everything to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. But did it did did this do something to you? I mean, like going back so much to where you grew up, mm -hmm. like I mean, shooting on your on that street where you grew yeah. up and everything mm -hmm. like what kind of emotions did this? Yeah, well, I thought like the therapy session already happened during the writing of the script, <laughs> oh, but then okay. um, on the the first, yeah, so I slept at my mom's place, and then when I left home with my backpack, my mom yeah. took like a picture. <laughs> she was like, "It's like <laughs> Sweet. The, she was like, "It's the first day of school or something." <laughs> so I went, I, I came in, in, into the street, and I saw all trucks happening and all cranes and like every like all the houses we know because they're, they're all neighbors, and a lot of my family is also living in yeah. the street. Yeah. And like in one of the houses there was makeup. In one of the houses there was like costume department. The catering was somewhere. So all the wow. whole street was like this set. It was like and it was so emotional for me to see yeah. that this was happening or something. Yeah. And then um, of course, but like when the scene started, like and the first scene is the scene where the mom and the father are on the on the bedroom and they're playing mm -hmm. like a little game, and it's, it was just a throwback to my own youth. And it's but it was really cool because I really knew what I wanted to see or something. Mm. And also like my, the father in the movie met my father, the mother met my nice. mother. So they really picked up a lot of things of these characters. And it was so nice to see that Geert who plays the father was like, he copied my father in so such good and nice habits that it was, yeah, it was amazing to see. Yeah. yeah, so then in a way this also became 
like a family yeah, a yeah, film, yeah. A family project it I also know. like it, it really brought us closer because like um, me and my brother we were quite the opposites when we were young yeah and then now um, yeah being that my brother was there every day because he's also living in the street with his family. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. My brother, uh, my, my parents are divorced, but um, my, par my, my father was also always there to just watch and just film everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like my mom stayed a bit on the background because she's uh, uh, she, she is just, just like a choice or something. She's really proud, but she doesn't need to be there. And then, yeah, but of course, like there's like one scene in the movie where my my actor, my main actor, uh, asks the mom to stop the car because he wants to say yeah. something. Um, and I think maybe I was not prepared on the emotions I was gonna see or something. Ale Lu knew what I wanted uh, to happen, yes. but I was also like I didn't need tears or something for me. I just wanted to see what happened. Um, and then I was like, Are you ready for the scene? And he's like, Yeah, okay, you can start on me. On me. Um, and we started with a close-up in the car, and the scene happened, and it was so beautiful to see how the mother reacts, how the brother reacts, like my brother would have also said nothing. Yeah. And then they started crying, and it was such a beautiful moment, and I was laying in the trunk, like dying, yeah. having this panic attack, yeah, like, ah, yeah, yeah. Sure. And we only did one take on the close-up, because it's so yeah. good, and the, the, it's so beautiful how Lou, like, is, is getting these emotions that I really mm. wanted to see, and like then, and after this scene, um, we spent four hours longer than normal because I needed all the other shots and stuff, and I was I just needed a break for an hour because I was I was so dead after yeah. this scene. Understandably. And then I was driving home to my mom, and I came into the kitchen, and we, I completely collapsed. I'm. It was the most beautiful moment of the whole four years I worked on this movie because suddenly we had like this moment in the kitchen. We didn't say anything. She thought the movie went bad or something. Oh, there was like a yeah. big, but we just had like this intimate moment where everything was said or something. So it was really cool to see that this whole summer experience brought every everyone together. And mm. now at the premiere as well, my father was sitting next to me, my mother, my brother. Yeah. It was so beautiful to see how they, they're all so proud and so, so happy that I told our story as well. So that's yeah. really cool. There's also a very interesting generational aspect in, in the film, mm -hmm. how Elias is connecting um, with his grandpa in the film, who is like really helping him a lot. And there is this conflict with the father. Mm -hmm. um, and so like these three generations yeah. of men and how they interact with each other, that was also very interesting to mm -hmm. see. Can you elaborate a bit on this aspect of the film? Yeah, I really wanted to make a movie that was watchable for all audiences. So I, um, it was really my goal to, to show three different generations. Um, parents expect a lot from their kids mm -hmm. and we also want to prove ourselves to, to, our, to our father or mother or parents but grand um, grandparents they expect less from their from their grandchildren than than mm -hmm. i think not every in every situation but mostly it is more like they're like more free and and i was my grandmother was always my best friend like she was like a second mother but she passed away when i was 12 right before i actually started to develop this 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 struggles yeah. and these feelings so it was always in my mind that if my grandmother would have lived she was swiss and she was like very open and amazing and there was so much love there i think if she would have lived my life would have be, been different I think this conversation that he has with the grandfather is a conversation I would have had with my grandmother, but she was not there. Yeah. So um, telling these different generations was really important for me to, to, to just show that we think it's when you're struggling with this and when you're, when you're a young adult, you think you're like totally alone. But even my parents had to deal with my sexuality. Um, my brother had to deal with my sexuality. He must have had conversations with his friends about me. So it was really important to show all the different um, yeah, characters in a family, and it was really uh, that was really my 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 goal to to also see how parents deal with this, to hopefully open up a conversation that parents don't need to wait until a kid reaches out, but also that parents maybe reaches out reach out more to their kids than yeah. than expected or something. Yeah. Well, maybe the film itself can be a good 
starting point for mm -hmm. some conversations. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, Anthony, thank you so much thank for you. being here and yeah. taking the time. Thank um, you so much. I wish you all the best for thank the you. Berlinale. Have a lot of fun. And thank you. I'm yeah. really happy, so uh, it can't be better. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.